Iraq to be our president indefinitely, who are lawmakers to stand in our way? You're absolutely right, Minister. If that's what the people want, then... you are going, I'm gonna need your license and registration. That's good. Real good. Make sure you're not at the border that day, okay? I can see the brigades trying something like an 86. All right, kid. Noted. Now, like I asked, your license and registration. Bartholomew Vanderbilt. Really? Don't lie to me, Peach Fuzz. I don't tolerate liars. Just a second. You're in hot water. Central, we got a situation here. Uh-uh. These brigades think they're gonna take me down? Flora, Peach Fuzz! I got news for them. When you go for the Queen, you better not miss. Faster! Let's go! Drive faster! never gotten you wrapped up in this. What was I thinking? You should go before all the cops get here. Go! Go!
Mikey, you sure this place is closed, Stan? All the lights are on. Yeah, so just leave those on to scare criminals. Well, didn't work. Nope. Stan. You there. Want to be part of something big? A break in. Probably the best ever. Best ever? You say that before all our crimes. And every time, it's true. Let's talk in the back. Come on. Time to get started. Okay, so Mitch is casing out the place. We need to be real quiet. Really? Now shut your trap. Here comes Mitch. Okay, okay. From what I can tell, the place is empty. Yeah, this should be a piece of cake. Let's go. Need to know what the guy we saw at the border is plotting. Yeah, sweet Sonia might still be in danger. Yeah, well, she's a national icon. Kid, you go in through the vents here. You use my lucky lockpick to get in. It's lucky because I've never had to actually use it. Okay, let's do this. But, uh, maybe you'd like to ask us something first? I did. Awful is what it is. We would have saved a kid had we been there. Yeah, we would have. How does it make you feel, kid? Well, good luck with that and everything. Yeah, good luck. Now come here, little buddy. Go to the end and use the lockpick. Now park in front of the cameras and get ready! Finally! I thought we'd never get in. Stan, we talked about this. You need to work on your patience. Kid, can you see us on the camera? Look around. See a layout of the office? Like we didn't already know that. Let's do this already. Oh, oh no. Something's beeping. Make it stop! Cut the alarm! <sighs> Thanks, little buddy. Why are you thanking him? He forgot to cut it! Stan, he's not an expert criminal like us. Mitch, help me with this door! Hello, this is security. We're responding to an alert. Everything all right? Mitch, can't you pick that lock any faster? What triggered the alarm? You'll want to close and lock all windows in the future, sir. Anyway, thank you for your explanation. Just a second, sir. I'll also need Happy Taxi's security password. It's just protocol. What's happening, kid? I'm sorry. Did you say something? What do you expect us to do? We're robbers, not wizards. No, I cannot. Yeah, whatever, kid. I'm waiting, sir. What is the password? Hold on. There's a post-it here. It says A45D2RCPP12. Maybe that's it. That's not it, sir. Want me to read it again? It's A45D2RCPP12. Thank you for your time and take care. I got it, Stan. Finally! What took you so long? You know I don't like to rush things. 
This is a break in, Mitch. Look, the manager's office. Oh, man, the door is a code. Any idea? Uh, try one, two, three, four. No. Four, three, two, one. Nope. Well, I'm fresh out of ideas. Kid, you're in the security room. Code must be in there somewhere. Find it. Hold on. Try nine, 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 nine. That's not it. You haven't even tried it. Nope. on the camera. There! Not sure this is about Sonia. Who's this guy with a white hat? The psycho cabbie is after a lot of people. You two, stop! Close the door! Who was that guy? Looks like the security service sent an agent. Open this door immediately! Listen, you don't want any trouble. Give me the manager's office code. Don't give him the code, kid. We're close to finding where this creep is gonna attack. The kid betrayed us. Let's get out of here. But we still don't know where he's gonna attack. It's too late. Let's go. Hey, stop right there. Now, listeners, a sneak peek of today's Sonia show. Nation, vote for Tyrak. Nothing less than our democracy is at stake. Tune in later to hear more. It's me, your beloved Sonia. Listen, I've had a little limo crash. Would you be a doll and give me a ride to a payphone? Thanks, hun. Adam, the kid's gonna give me a ride. You think about what you done. No, he's just in a temporary state of shock. He'll snap out of it. Now, come on, ain't got all day. I'm goddamn Sonia Sanchez. You actually drive this dump on wheels? I mean, it's nice. Real lived in. Thanks, hun. 
it's an honor to meet you, too. Uh, did you know there's a, uh, a, a burger back here? I'm gonna put it next to you. Try not to eat my fingers, okay? Ugh, you really just ate that? In front of me? Whatever. Ask me a question, hun. I know you're burning too. Those brigades are probably up to something. What about you, honey? Planning on being at the border for the big day? Then you're gonna miss out on my big live report. So, honey bun. How much do you love my show? Wait, wait, wait. You're not one of them, are you? A brigade, numbnuts. Well, that's a goddamn relief. That's almost as bad. I should get out of this car this very instant. But I won't because of the state of my limo. I can be nice, you know. Most people don't know that. Well, sparkling as your conversation may be, you're boring me, honey buns. But I have an idea to liven this hearse up. Yep. Dance party! Oh, you'll dance when I tell you to dance. Got it? Now find some music on that junk radio of yours. Nope. Uh-uh. You kidding me? Jesus, kid! you to be honest. Is this even your car? I thought so. Relax, sugar. I haven't had this much fun in so long. But look at that! Reminds me of... Well, of my past. Saw my brothers recently. It'd been ages. Made me realize how much I missed spending time with them. I'm not gonna make that mistake again. It is sometimes. But I'm not sure that's an excuse. But thanks for saying that. It's sweet. Look! A phone booth! Stop the goddamn car! 
And it looked like you were just about out of gas. I'm sure you will, too. Well, thanks for the ride. I don't know where you're heading, Sweet Pea, but good luck getting there. haven't you? That's not very nice. I'm scaring you, aren't I? Sorry. Follow me. I want to show you something. Impressive, isn't it? It's not like one. It is one. You know, you remind me of someone. Never mind. The Brigades used to live here. In fact, this is where they planned the attack in 86. Tyrak found it after the attack. Those still here were arrested. How many were never heard from again? Go on, take a look around. That's what they called the radio tree. They used it to make their radio broadcasts. You're looking at what allowed them to recruit their members. It is terrible. That's what I wanted to show you. I... I think we should break it. I did. We should break it. I said break it, or I'll find something else to break. It's a very important day. You. Hmm. 
I don't like big crowds either. Well, they took Lola, is why. Lola was my daughter. The brigades took her away from me. She was just 16 when she joined them. Her biology teacher, Bob Winters, recruited her. She always liked Bob. Hmm. She was. When the day came for the attack in 86, they sent her and some other members to the wall. The detonation didn't go as planned, I guess, and she was buried beneath the rocks. She wanted to be a paleontologist, someone who studies dinosaurs. She knew everything about them there was to know. Their names, what they ate, everything. Yeah, of course she decorated it with dinosaurs. This was a mistake. It didn't help. None of it. Destroying the tree. Talking. Talking. It only made things worse. You should run. Run. I can see him now! You're under arrest!
Just another kid who got caught. My name's Max. We're in a holding cell near the border. They brought you in last night. They beat you. That's why. But it should come back soon. No, there are other cells here. Guys, say hello! Hey! hey. A guy called the cops on me at a gas station. There was another teen there. Must have been arrested too, but taken in a different car. Uh, too long. I just want to get it over with. Getting transferred to the pits. Your friend's been chosen for a new treatment. We'll turn him into a good teenager yet. transferred to the pits. Now get up! Demonstrations! It's election day, and scum like you want to make trouble! We need to go! Now time to get you in the truck! Go, go, go! Quiet back there! They fried him, man. I don't know if he can talk now. you to give your life, Alex. How do you know? Robert said... Robert is a liar! No, you're the liar! You promised me that you'd tell me about them. Alex, you don't understand! I do understand, John. You wasted my time. And you're wasting it now! Your mom and dad, Alex. Naomi and Steven. They built it. Built what? The first bomb. We were gonna use it. But there was a problem at the last moment. That's when Connie and I, my girlfriend, tried to take Tyrak out in the truck. We'd worked too hard to come up empty-handed. But we missed. And Tyrak detonated the explosives on the peak. And my parents were killed. Yes. And Connie. And so many others that day. 
Why didn't you tell me this sooner, John? I thought it'd radicalize you. Push you to build the bomb. And I didn't want you to hate me. Then I should activate this bomb. To do what my parents couldn't. They wouldn't have wanted you to die for this, Alex. Believe me. Alex won't listen to me. Can you talk to him? Please, young blood. Why are you interfering? Don't you want to leave this country anyway? What do you care? John doesn't know anything. Nothing he'll tell me anyways. They loved you, Alex. They loved you more than the world. You hear me? <laughs> it's not fair. They're gone. And I never got to know them. I know it isn't. But if you activate this bomb, you'll be taking someone else's parents away. I guess... I guess you're right. There. I disarmed it. Oh, I'm so proud of you. Come on, let's... Don't move! Hands up and turn around. Slowly. Hands up, I said! Mom! Don't shoot! Alex? Your mom's a cop? Get out of here, Alex. That voice... Wait, Papa Bear? Oh, no! You know each other? Yeah. Turns out I've been chatting on the CB with the very person I was after. Well, it's not great for me either. The woman I love being a cop and everything. <laughs> love. Yeah. Love. Ha! Don't make me laugh. Listen, I'm sorry I stood you up. I chickened out. You think I care about that now? My mom and Mr. Ursus were gonna go on a date? My mind is gonna explode. Alex, I told you, get out of here. Listen to your mom. So, how do you know each other again? I did some work for the brigades, for info on my bio parents. John knew them. Yeah, right. It's the truth. My girlfriend and I were friends with Alex's parents. Your girlfriend? She died in 86. I've been trying to protect Alex. You gotta believe me. Mom, I did everything on my own. John didn't force me. You gotta believe him. He's a criminal, Alex. He, they, almost killed me. Twice. I didn't want them to attack. I swear to you. But I've made some terrible decisions. Now the day goes by that I don't regret them. Ah, uh, boo-hoo. So, what am I supposed to do? Let you go? Is that it? Well, I can't. I'm a police officer. Please, Mom, lower your gun. Get out of here, Alex. Drop the gun! Alex, stop! Get away from him! John! Supporters on the other side of the wall have broken through and are now fighting the border forces with the brigades. Could this be it? Is the revolution really happening? <laughs>
Now might be a good time to go, sir. The revolution started that day, lasted for three more weeks. It spread to much of Petria, but did not prove successful in overthrowing Tyrak. Tyrak won the election and repealed the law limiting the number of possible presidential terms. And in the years that followed, my country became even more oppressive. If only more citizens had committed themselves to change, Petria might now be a much different place. 